Hi, I'm Taylor Cox, and welcome to Roughnecks Ultimate Insider. Tonight, the 5-0 Dallas Roughnecks take on the Austin Soul at home. But this game is a lot different than their season opener against Austin, as this time, five of our star players of the Roughnecks will not be playing. Bo Kittredge, Cassidy Rasmussen, Kurt Gibson, Jimmy Mickle, and Dylan Freechild are all in Midland, Columbia. They're at an Ultimate Tournament training for Team USA, as the World Ultimate Championships are in London coming up in June. So what does this mean for the Roughnecks tonight? What players will step up as this will be one of five games that the five stars for the Roughnecks will miss this season? Uh, so we've got a little Colorado contingent with uh, Lori and uh, Stanley Peterson. And then we have our A&M guys. So I think there's some good combos we can rely on. And then Matt Jackson's just been playing great the whole year. I think that the team is more than capable of taking care of the disc, scoring upwind, downwind. Um, it would be easier with our top five, but I have complete faith in the rest of the team that we'll get the job done. So tonight, we will be watching new stars rise within the Roughnecks as they continue their undefeated season. definitely stacked to have a bunch of big namers, but we're missing five of them actually that are training for Team USA. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you guys think they're doing without them? Quite well. Actually, it's a very deep team and the names beyond the big name players are actually a group of um, players who play together frequently. Mm -hmm. So they actually have a very good group out there and they're so used to playing with each other. I, I don't think they're really going to miss a step going yeah. into these games. Yeah. Here is Mark Heyman with Drunken Cow Jerky. He just gave me some jerky, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Uh, Mark, not only do you support the Dallas Roughnecks and Team Eric, but I also heard that you like ultimate frisbee, don't you? Oh, we, we love the sport. You know, growing up, we were always throwing frisbees, and it's really exciting to see that it's being formed and put together in a professional sports arena. And, uh, you know, it's just fun to get all the kids out here, and, and it's, just, it's an exciting event for the whole family. It's great. And uh, I brought him out here because I wanted to see what it was all about. Yeah, it's a good family time. So, what do you think of the game so far? Um, I've been usually I've been playing over there, but I think of the game. I've watched. I've been watching it. Uh -huh. it's been a, great. Lot, like, a bit. Um, I really like the game. It's been a great game so far. I brought a frisbee here today, and he learning how to play frisbee so this is a new thing yeah. for us so i played frisbee golf when i was young so could you see yourself as a future dallas roughnecks player maybe i need a lot of practice <laughs> <laughs> it's halftime right now against the austin soul right now we're up 14 10 and some of those players have really stepped up this is one of the closest that we've seen the roughnecks come in a game so let's see if they can pull it off in the second half as it's just about to start amazing Dallas Roughneck fans. Girls, why do you come to the game? Well, I come to the game because I want to see awesome ultimate players. I want to see them make those moves that I see the Mavericks playing. I want to see them make those dives that I see the Dallas Cowboys doing because that's what they're doing out here. They're pro athletes and I find that awesome. I want to watch more of it and it's so invigorating to watch them score and block, block other people's scores. I, I just, I think it's, it's an ultimate game. It's definitely one of the best games I've ever watched it's live. Intense. Have you guys had fun out here today? Oh, it's been such a blast. Like, the sunset was beautiful, the weather's been amazing, and the game is awesome. It was a good game. So that's actually the end of the game. We just won. How much did you enjoy being out here tonight on a Friday? Saturday. It was awesome. It was so much fun and high energy, fast pace, and the guys are not bad to look at either. <laughs> All right, all right, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Taylor. Today was a different type of game for the Dallas Roughnecks, as five of our star players were not in the lineup, but the team 
stepped up together and some new stars are starting to rise. Standing here with Kai Marshall at the end of the game. Kai, we heard your name about a thousand times today. What do you think made you so special this game that you have all of these fans? Um. <laughs> Kai Marshall is currently getting interviewed! <laughs> it helps that I have a former teammate announcing the game, so that, 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 you know, that doesn't hurt. Um, but yeah, I just have a lot of friends from college here from Apes Wrath, Oklahoma. Uh, we represent. <laughs> Which is great. We love that you have so many fans came out. Uh, take away from the game, we won. How do you think we did without the five key players? I, I think we did really great. You know, we, we had to uh, see some people who don't usually step up step up today, and mm -hmm. it was a lot of fun to see that we were capable of doing that if we need to. Yes. Did anyone step up to you or stick out specifically that you were really shocked by in this game? Um, a, lot, a lot of people tried to choose. Uh, but, uh, Kevin Christian threw a lot of really good hugs that uh, I like to see because I, I, know, I know he has those throws yeah. a lot. I, it was nice to see him actually do it in the game. Yeah, so, yeah. So this is game one of five that we're going to have without those five players. What do you think we can work on to be a little bit better without them? Um, I think we can work on like our offensive initiation. I, I, I just think that can use a little work, but once we start, we're usually good to go. So, so the game just finished. Jim, any final thoughts? Well, you know, that was a close game, but I'm really glad that we finished it the way we did. Really strong, good finish. Everybody played up to their, you know, the expectations. Uh, they played within their means, which I love that, so great game. The final score was 24 to 16, and that makes the Dallas Roughnecks 6 and 0. Oh. But more games are coming, and you can get your season tickets and find out more information about the team at DallasRoughnecks.com. This was a close game. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Taylor Cox, and you're watching Roughnecks Ultimate Insider. See you guys at the next one.